It's late Saturday afternoon, November 5th. I'm riding the bicycle over to the stop and shop, get a pack of cigarettes and say hello to my honorary brother James. I've been riding all afternoon since I came home and put up the little video of my visit to Mark Sarnoff's neighborhood and then doing my usual propane, propane inhalation. It lowers blood pressure also. But as, you, as I do that, I begin to make mental associations that are normally uh, not in my mind. And uh, these associations, when I look at them after I'm sober again, I don't like to use that word, uh, but they all make sense. And it's rather bizarre. Everything adds up. It's as if I am indeed a messenger from Allah or a God. And I'm not a religious guy. I was atheistic all my life. But all the messages, all the clues, all the confluences, all the strange coincidences. And then today, going into Sarnoff's neighborhood, they all line up. Going into Sarnoff's neighborhood, and I was pantomiming the action of painting out that sign, which is unaccountably still up. They're doing it because they're trying to rub salt in my wound. And just as I'm doing that pantomime motion in the video called Give It Up, Give It Up, Give It Up, there's a gay guy across the street with his dog and he says, give it up. What? Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. It just proves this long-term pattern of intimidation been going on for three years since the first false arrest. First ever arrest in my 54 years. And I complained about it and I was told not to complain about it by Judge Mark King LeBan. Here we are. We're on a... Oh, what street is this? This is a beautiful uh, banyan tree. It's featured in Wikipedia. If you look up the town of Coconut Grove, you'll see this tree. So it's about a mile and a half to the stop and shop. I'm just going to keep talking to the camera and let, the, let it run. I hope it doesn't run out of memory. Uh, it'll be about five minutes before I get there. And this card is already half full, so I may run out of memory. Maybe I better shut the camera, because I want to show you, as I approach the stop and shop, I'll turn the camera back on, and you can see my honorary brother, James. But yeah, all of these strange things. You know, my mother was born in Macon, Georgia in the summer of 1927. I've known James now for seven years, nearly seven years. Hi, I'm the guy on TV. Not that people should care, but it explains why they have a camera. Anyway, uh, I knew James for, James for a number of years now, and several years ago his father was dying of lung cancer, and James nursed his father. That's what I did. I nursed my father when my father was dying of lung cancer. Hello. And so we were trading notes. When was your father born? Oh, 1927. Where? He was born in August of 1927 in Macon, Georgia. And you understand, folks, James Fuller is maybe the only friend I have in life right now that I trust with my life. And my mother and his father were both born in Macon in 1927. See me on TV. Yeah. That's just one little coincidence. I can recite about 500 more. I don't understand it. Okay, let me shut the camera off for a moment so I don't run out of memory. They're just passing the neighbors. Their kids are doing a first bike ride today, so I had to slow down. Glad I turned the camera off for that. Okay, so we're coming up. Oh, I forget the names of these streets. We're on, this is where Ernie Bennett used to live. Oh, where he used to live. House of Lots. Place of Downs. And he yelled at me the other day and promised to kill me. He had signs on election day. He had signs. I pulled them, and he saw them. He grabbed them from me. I, you're the guy. You're the guy. I said, yeah, I'm the guy Sarnoff tried to kill. He said, well, he should have killed you. Give me the signs. And he cursed. And I just gave him the signs back, and he went into his house. Okay, uh, almost done. We're getting up to Lejeune Road. This is the waterworks, Dade County Water and Sewer Department. This is where our, we pulled we a boat, where I voted the other day. Let me turn the camera off because my memory is getting low. I'm going to make a right turn and go to the stop and shop. It's just a block away. And uh, I'll turn the camera off when I see James. I'm just going to take a chance and see if uh, 
he should be sitting out here for me. You can see the layout. <clears throat> but now I'm going to shut the camera off because I know James doesn't really want to be on camera or interviewed, but at least you'll see him. Yes, there he is. There's a beige wall up there and a man with striped running pants. That's my brother James Fuller. So as I come up, I'm going to shut the camera off. There's James in a red shirt. This is a stop and shop. I first came here in the year 1960 after Hurricane Donna. There's the manager. Hello, that's the man who owns the store. These are my friends. Jamesy. Okay, I am. I'm doing what I gotta do. No, you're not, man. Me and this guy don't get along, man. I Folks, did you see that? Commissioner Sarnoff just tackled me. He just tackled me. The district the commissioner of District 2 just tackled this. I want you all to be citizens now and be witnesses. Tell the truth. Sarnoff just attacked me. And, and you'll see it in the blurry distance. Sarnoff going off of his house. He says, when he talks to the police and to the journalists, he says, Reed was attacking the old lady. He was going to hit Peter, and he had a box cutter, so I took him down, and I held him down calmly until police arrived. And he didn't. He got right up, and he left. And people just milled on away from me. And then there's a fat man across the street. He took the camera for me and, and took pictures of my back. So uh, just like I'm recording this. But anyway, I'm going to go get my cigarettes. You're the owner of the store. You're the guy that made the store over, and I've been coming here for 50 years. I think it all ties together pretty nicely. See it on YouTube.